Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday show. It's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Are you ever having an existential crisis in the middle of a global pandemic and you just want to get in your pajamas and eat chocolate cake, but you're like, I don't know any chocolate cake recipes. And even if I did, I don't know if I could follow them correctly. But then your YouTube feed gives you a no bake five minute chocolate cake recipe. And you're like, is it tasty? Asking for a friend. Yeah, so we're gonna try a five minute no bake chocolate cake recipe. It's from Emma's Goodies, which we have tried a recipe from her before, and it was very delicious. We made those really soft lemon cookies, if you recall. I am very confident in her recipe making skills. However, I am not confident in my microwave skills because my microwave likes to explode on me. So I don't know if the fact that it's no bake, meaning it doesn't go in the oven, makes it harder or easier. It's promoted as being easier, but we'll see. Also, I wanna see if it's tasty and if it works and if it takes five minutes. So let's make this dish. Step one. Okay, the first thing she does is she sifts all of her dry ingredients into a bowl. So we are going to get closer so you can see. Thank you, sir, ma'am. Get brighter so you can see. Thank you. We're gonna do a three fourths cup of flour, all purpose flour. Flour are you doing? <laughs> I'm having an existential crisis, so help. One third cup unsweetened cocoa powder, cacao, cow, cow, powder, cow. And I'm having this recipe, halving, halving. I'm having this recipe in my stomach, hopefully, but I'm having this recipe. So we need three eighths cup of gran granulated sugar. So I'm just gonna do like a fourth and then like half a fourth, that's math. And one and a half teaspoons baking powder. And now we sift. Oh, this cacao really needs to loosen up. Come on, cacao, don't be a party pooper. Let your hair down. Okay, we probably don't need every last bit. We're done. This is taking longer than five minutes. What is half of one and three fourths? That's seven fourths, that's 14 eighths, that's seven eighths. Seven eighths a cup of warm water, <laughs> plus two tablespoons. That's a cup, let's just do a cup. We're doing a cup, end of story. Filtered water, cause we're bougie. Warm water, let's do a minute. One cup of warm water, and a fourth cup plus a half a tablespoon of oil. You don't have to have the recipe if you have a big enough bowl. I was putting this in the bowl for my electric mixer, but then I realized like this recipe, it's not gonna be that hard to whisk. So we're just gonna whisk it by hand. You just wanna make sure all of the lumps are gone. No lovely lady lump sleeves. And it's supposed to be very runny. Hers actually looks a lot more runny than mine. It's still pretty runny. I feel like it needs a little bit more. Might have done the math wrong. All right, next, she says to take any microwave safe dish. I'm using this Pyrex dish, which I normally use for leftovers, but this is my biggest microwave safe dish that can actually fit in the microwave. Then she says to line it with parchment paper, but also grease and flour it, which this might sound really dumb, but I don't know if she meant to grease and flour before putting the parchment or after. Don't, don't come for me. Please don't come for me. I'm gonna do it after. Oh, this looks so nice. I don't know how she did it all like nice and neat. She made it look like a piece of cake. <laughs> all right, I think that's good enough. We're gonna spray it with some oil and then flour it, she said, right? Okay, lightly grease and flour this here. Get it, then, done. We're gonna pour our batter into this thing. I looked at that whisk and it tasted like water. So <laughs> she is skeptical right now. By she, I mean, I mean me, not, not her. All right, and then we're gonna put it into our microwave for three minutes. Please be nice. Please microwave, please. We love you, please. I don't love my microwave that much. Don't tell it. Love you. <laughs> Pain in my fucking ass. Okay, our microwave just went off and it's been three minutes. We're going to see if it needs to be in there a little bit longer. Our microwave did not explode on us, which was nice. Thank you, being a nice boy today. Ooh, okay, that looks like it might be done. We're gonna do a toothpick test in the middle, right down the center. Oh, almost, almost done. All, you know what, it needs like maybe one more minute. You go. Guys, I'm really self-conscious about the way I did the parchment paper. I made it look like all wrinkly. So just be nice, okay? Be really nice. I mean, I mostly just want the chocolate cake to taste good, but also I kind of want it to be beautiful. Just ignore the wrinkles, okay? That was about me. But ignore the wrinkles on the cake too. Okay, now it's gotta be ready, ready. Oh, you are hot. That looks ready. Okay, we're doing two big tests. Yes. Okay, just in case. Did it three times. All right. Oh, it's got to cool for five minutes. The reason that her parchment was all nice and neat is because she only put it on the bottom of the dish. Did everyone know that? Everyone knew that? I'm dumb? Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. We got it. Stop. Stop saying it. Stop. 
We got it. All right, we're gonna let this cool for five minutes and then we're gonna do another thing. So see you in a second. Okay, it's been about five minutes now and we are going to take this out of the pan and to do that, she does some tricky ass shit. Well, first of all, she had it set up much nicer than me, but then I'm going to attempt to do what she does. She first takes parchment paper and has it on a cutting board. Oh, you didn't think I would notice Emma's goodies? She didn't even say that part. I had to catch it in the video after watching it five times. Okay, so she put this parchment paper here and then she then she I think she goes like this and then she flips it out oh the bottom side oh god why why do we do this oven mint now okay the moment we've been waiting for oh my god Mm, let's see. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, and then this is... Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. She says this part looks pretty wonky and she's right, but then she flips it again. How do I help me? She has a cake stand. Never mind. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it on a plate. Yeah. Get it right. Wow. We know tricks too. We can do it. Yes. Much better. So much prettier. Alright, so now that is done. This is the final product of this recipe. However, we to frost it. So she also has a one minute frosting recipe that we're gonna try. I did however watch the video and it says you need to refrigerate it for 30 minutes so it's not really a minute frosting but it takes a minute to whip up. This is me whipping. You got it. Okay for the frosting I am going to use my electric mixer so I'm going to start with this mixing bowl here and we're going to put our dry ingredients in here which is one and a half cups of powdered sugar. I'm also halving this recipe. Having this recipe. I'm having this recipe today. Whether you like it or not. One and a half cups. Did I say that? Sure. One third cup unsweetened cacao powder. I like that this uses virtually the same ingredients. Just powdered sugar instead of granulated. And that's it. Then that was the only dry ingredient. We're gonna whisk those together. We didn't sift these, but I feel like this is probably okay. Okay, then we're gonna add butter, softened butter. We're gonna do two thirds of one stick. That's what it says. It says to do one and one third of a stick, but she has hers in chunks. I think I'm just gonna break it up with my fingers. I'm classy. I'm a lady. And one fourth cup of boiling water. So we're gonna put that in the microwave for a minute. Oh, and I forgot, a fourth teaspoon of salt. All right, and then we are going to mix it. Yes, you got it. Ooh. Okay, it's looking good. We are just now going to add melted dark chocolate to the mix. And hold on. There are measurements. Don't worry. I don't know if I even know what, how to read it. Two ounces of melted dark chocolate. So we need one ounce because we're having, right? Dark chocolate chips. Although now that I look closely at the packaging, it says it's dark chocolate baking chips and they're made with stevia sweetened cacao. I don't know. I don't know about you. I'm very skeptical, but we're trying it. One ounce. What be that? One cup is eight ounces, then an eighth cup is one ounce. I just wanted to like chill in my PJ, but instead we are doing some hefty arithmetic. <laughs> why do you like this? Why do you like this? Why do you like this? Why, why, why? <sighs> I hate you. In order to have it not do that, I have to add a cup of saucer, a saucer of water in there. It's ridiculous. It's mean, you're mean. One little five minute chocolate cake, but it's probably gonna take an hour to make Made okay, chocolate's melted. We're adding it to our frosting. Beginning of being a frosting? Hopefully this is an ounce. <laughs> probably more than an ounce. Okay, do your thing, mixer. Mix it up. But this is still very liquidy. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. Maybe I just didn't do the math right. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter and a little bit more melted chocolate chips. Oh, was that not? Butter, melted chocolate chips. Well, maybe a little bit more powdered sugar. Ooh, yeah. Hmm, I don't know about this. This is like way different texture. It tastes pretty good though. Oops. Where'd I put you? Okay, I don't know quite where I'm going wrong. I added a lot more powdered sugar because it just wasn't quite as thick as hers was in the video. This is almost there. I think maybe after being in the fridge for 30 minutes, it'll hopefully be spreadable <laughs> to put on our cake. TBD. See you in 30 minutes for a five minute chocolate cake. Okay. It has been 30 minutes and we are hopefully ready to frost this cake. Oh, yes. Oh, actually. <gasps> Ooh, consistency is on point now. Yes. Do you have a boner? Wow, this is great. Okay, so now is the, the final part of our five minute cake. <laughs> After an hour and a half, there's no watch there. We are going to we're gonna frost this. This cake has had way more time to cool than ever. Probably should have put the frosting in the fridge in a different container than the mixing 
tasteful because the powder on the sides is starting to go in. That's okay. We're gonna try to frost it on the sides like she does in the video. I am so impressed by this frosting. I did not think it was gonna come together. Not because the recipe was wrong, but because I just felt like I didn't do it right. There's also a lot of math involved. Like she uses the English system and we use the US system. And then, so she had to convert it. And then I had to half it from there. So I feel like the math, all the maths. Also, yeah, I'm freaking frosting this with my finger because it's my freaking cake, okay? She has this like smooth knife thing that makes it all dreamy. So my hand is kind of acting like that. I'm gonna add sprinkles because that makes me feel good. I will say this frosting tastes good too. It's so good. I'm just gonna do like a little bit around the edges. Oh, this is looking like our donut that we made like two weeks ago. Can you tell that this is an aesthetic that makes me happy? All right, we did it. Look, success, maybe. Does it taste good? We don't know. We're gonna try it right now. See what happens. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite cake. All right, enough of that. Wait, 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 wait. Glamour shot, glamour shot, glamour shot. Ooh, ooh, bitch. Ooh, bitch. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. Real quick, before we start, I just feel like people need to know how it slices. <coughs> okay. It's a little more dense than I thought it was going to be, but it did cool for a while. Here you go. How is it? That is an unusual. It's unusual. An unusual flavor. Huh, what's unusual about when it? When I look at chocolate with sprinkles yeah. and then I taste it, it doesn't taste chocolatey initially. Oh, well we did use unsweetened cacao. The frosting tasted really chocolatey. The, the frosting is excellent. I will say I tried some of the batter of the cake and it tasted like water to me. <laughs> <laughs> Did not look the smooth. What does water taste like? You wouldn't know because you don't the, drink water. That's the funniest fucking shit I've ever heard. It just tastes so damn good until you taste the cake part. And then you're like, I don't even know what this is. Okay, okay. I know the cake part is the recipe part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is the realest show on the internet. It's okay. So let's go. We do this recipe. Shout out to Emma. She is actually great. We did her soft lemon cookies. They were great. And this is like a no bake. I'm just gonna take um, responsibility. Maybe I did it wrong. It needs like more sugar or Some. something. Some. It really tastes like a sponge. Yes. There's no flavor to the second part of it. But the freaking frosting is it's, amazing. It's uh, it's incredible. It's like like when you're a kid and you make pretend things. Correct. Like <laughs> easy bake oven stuff. Mm -hmm. It also looks. Like it. So, is it tasty? The freaking frosting? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. amazing. Definitely make that frosting. It was super easy to make too. A thousand times, yes. The cake part, I just would put in some extra energy to actually bake the cake. The cake was like, yo, we're in a pandemic. All right, well, it's tasty. Make it a little different, but it's tasty. <laughs> oh my God, I love this show. Also subscribe so you don't miss any of this and follow my vlogs on youtube.com slash sticky and uh, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash sticky. We do live shows every month. Oh, we have a podcast too. Check that out. Subscribe to us. We'll see you next time. Bye.